I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Ebony Bridges joins me, perhaps a little bit reluctantly, but you can't say no to IFL TV. How are you? Say no, no, I'm good, thank you. Bit of a different day at the office today. Um, obviously, you know the influence of scene because you've got L around you. Um, just kind of a quick recap on the group of girls that we saw today, simply because you've got the setup you've got and L's in the mix of that setup. I mean, is there a reason why she's favourite to win this tournament? Yeah, I mean, obviously because she is the most experienced. None of these girls have had a fight before. Um, she had a great last performance. She's made mega improvements since her first fight. Um, so I think that's going to why she's going to be a favourite. But, um, you know, she's not taking it lightly. When I have a look at all those girls, like, there's some mega girl, big girls in this division. Like, you know, it would be it would be wrong of her and anyone really to underestimate um, the girls in the competition. Do you know what I mean? Um, especially with the size of some of them, like... Even I was sitting there going, wow, like, you know, it's, it's crazy. I'm, I'm interested to see what weight it's going to be at and how it's all going to work out. But some exciting stuff. Obviously, we know Elle's got the dog in her. We can see that when she fights. What do you know about Emily? Because obviously we don't know anything about her boxing. Um, bit of a random one when it comes to the yeah. surprise. I suppose their paths could cross. Yeah. That's not for now. Um, but what do you know about Emily? I don't, I, I don't know a lot about Emily, like, as in um, her fighting. I haven't seen her in the gym. Um, she's training with someone else. But... She's um, she's a bit more rough around the edges than than Elle for sure. Like we've seen her before. Um, I don't know how she's gonna. I don't. I honestly can't comment on it too much about her boxing because I haven't seen it. But I do know that she's definitely um, she's definitely probably be the kind of person that would have a big scrap and like. I don't think she would back down. I think she'd be pretty rough and rigged in there. Well, fingers crossed. That's what we get from all of those fights. Um, can we talk about Katie Taylor and Chantel Cameron yeah. quickly? Um, what a fight. Okay, we didn't get the rematch with Katie and Amanda. Um, if you're going to get an alternative, and maybe in some people's eyes, a better fight this. Um, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, honestly, I, um, I'm so excited about this fight. I've wanted this fight for ages. Um, you know, I really rate Chantel a lot. I rate Katie too, but I really rate Chantel. And I think, you know, this is going to be a mega test for Chantel, but I really think yeah, she can do it. I think she, she can do it. You know, she's bigger, she's strong. Um, she's tough as well, and she has a lot of variety in her punches. You know, Katie Taylor. I mean, don't get me wrong; she's got that speed, and she's she's relentless, and she's tough. She can take a punch, but um, you know, obviously, with Serrano, Serrano's smaller, but I know she's strong. But I just, I don't know. I think, um, I think Chantel's all round everything that she has, like as a whole package kind of fighter. Um, I think, I just think. With the size, I think that's going to edge her the win. I think it's going to be tough, but I think that could edge her the win because they're both really, really good. See, Chantel seems to think that this has been a fight Katie's been very reluctant to make in the past. Is that something that kind of strikes you at all? Would you believe that Katie's a fighter? Katie would never be reluctant regardless of the challenge. It's just a fight that hasn't yet happened. It's usually not the fighters that are reluctant. It's the teams, you know. I wouldn't say that Katie was reluctant. I, I suppose her team probably just had other things in mind. Um, but I'm glad that it's happening. You know, it's good to see Katie go up. You know, she's blitzed her division. She, blitz, you know, she did well with Serrano. Um, so, you know, I think it's a good test. Um, or not a good test, or a good step up. You know, like um, to push yourself more because you've got to keep challenging yourself in the game. You know what I mean? So, and of course, a good challenge for Chantel as well. It's more important things. When are we next seeing you in the ring? Uh, I mean, I'm hoping and I'm praying that um, hopefully July and August. I still haven't started hitting with my hand yet. I'm still, you know, mending that. I'm still building up the strength in that. I'm seeing my air hand um, therapist on Tuesday, so I have a, hopefully a better understanding of, you know, better timeline. So everything, if everything goes to plan, then, you know, fingers crossed July, August um, at the latest. Has it been hard or will it be hard from now on when you kind of, I don't know, start the first bit of camp, not to throw it in a sense? Because I spoke to Joe Cordina about this. He said, he was throwing jabs and it's just kind of a natural instinct to throw a hat that at yeah. the moment you can't throw. Yeah, it sucks. Like definitely, like I sparred L the other day, but obviously just lead hand sparring and it's so hard not to throw that backhand. Like it is really, really hard and you need a lot of discipline. Um, and yeah, it's definitely going to take some discipline, but I just got to try and be smart and just do everything right so I don't get another setback. And obviously, it's not going to be one from next, but potential for the rematch with Shannon Courtney, obviously she's going to fight Nina Hughes, um, who's got a world title belt. So, 
I don't know, who could it be next? And is it likely that it's going to be that and then the winner of Nina and Shannon? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Hey, I'm not looking that far ahead yet. Um, but like, like get them get out of the way. You know, um, I just fought my mandatory straight after my last fight. So, you know, probably be a voluntary first, and then um, go on from there. That's that's what I would think. That's what I've talked to you about my with my team. Um, but yeah, definitely. You know, I've been wanting that rematch since I had the fight. <laughs> so that fight's definitely something I want, and I want to unify all the belts. So hopefully, you know, good luck, Shan uh, Shannon Courtney, because I need you to win that belt, Shannon, because I want to fight you for a reason more than just I want a redemption. Do you know what I mean? I want to get that belt. So, Ebony, thanks very much for speaking to IFL TV. You're welcome. Lucky, I love you. I'm going to share something with you that might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.